Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Eagle Moss Faff Around review. Now, you saw the last time I did the Enterprise D with the source separation, it went perfectly fine. It just it whittled the, the, the saucer as much as you could dare to and it come out what it, what it was. But how many others have I got that will actually do exactly the same? I don't think there's going to be any. And I'd be surprised if any do in the way that the Enterprise D did. So let's start off. You saw the, the, um, the amount of ones that I got for, for an auction win anyway. So let's have a look to see if we can do similar. Now the Enterprise E. Hmm. Now, looking at this, looks like there's a line across the back of there. And get in there a little bit. So it possibly could separate across there, underneath here, maybe. I'd like it if this would stay on. Oh, you know what? This might actually do it. Because you've got a line, there's a, there's a, there's a line there, and then it goes round where the captain's yacht is. This might actually do it, but it also there's a line on here, which, does looks like it's going to snap off anyway but we have the super glue ready we can rebuild it so it looks like that one might be able to be done or will it hmm I'm not quite sure I mean again it's a case of wiggle it uh, just a little bit yes I got that wrong last time didn't I where well, they were from I mean these the, the pylons are so thin on this. That's quite ridiculous. That is plastic underneath there. And there is a gap in there. So it looks like it might come off, but I don't, I'm not 100% certain. It'd be nice if it did. I don't want to break these. And that's a plastic part there. Metal is the top section on here. So that metal bit will come off. However, I'd like the plastic section underneath to stay on as well. Hmm. I'm not 100% certain this will work. It's very fiddly and I don't want to break the nacelles. It may be a case of I might need to take the nacelles off just to get into it properly. It looks like this part here would hold in the pylons and the nacelles. But that seam line on there is shockingly bad, but what can you do? As Mr. Chekhov would say. I need help, but I also need not to be heavy handed with this. Hmm. So, we've got a possibility with the Enterprise E. We're about to one side for a second. What else have we got? Classic Enterprise. Now, the Enterprise in some guys did have a source separation in one of the, I think it was, it was a concept art, but it separated at the base, not, at, not under, the, under the top of the neck there, at the base of the neck. So then this source of sep separator would go out with the neck and then these two parts here would be landing legs, as well as this third one as well, the neck. But for a source of separation, if you just take the saucer off of the rest of the engineering section, yeah, that will come off quite easily. So I think that's just a not worth doing. That's just too easy to do. And the top section is all die cast, apart from that circle there, which is plastic. So I think to take this off, yeah, it would be too easy to do. I don't want to do that because it's just, it's not worth it. 
because if I did it properly, it would be on the neck, or if the neck would split. I know the refit enterprise, before anybody says anything, there is a line at the upper part of the neck, and I'll get, get the A out for this. There should be a line, which there isn't, because I've missed it off, at the top of the neck. And we have seen this in comic books where this would separate from. So that bit would be partly landing legs. But then, if this is a refit, perhaps the neck would have separated from the saucer, and then these four sections here could come out with landing legs, so it could come down. So yeah, another one with the Enterprise A, which as well as... I can't find it. The standard refit Enterprise, which is in here, still wrapped up, would do exactly the same. So I don't fully want to do that one just yet. The E, maybe, that is just too easy to separate from there. And I really do like the colouring. I mean, look at the difference between these two. One's blue, one's white. They look so Good. The white one looks so good to do. It's a shame that the the standard refit they didn't do the same colour scheme. It's the same bodywork. Virtually everything is exactly the same, except for it being blue. And you've got Aztecs, the um, panelling on on the A as well. So that's getting to one side. I'm ignoring that one. Not that I want to, because I'm going to. So, what's next? An Enterprise B. Hmm. That should be easy. And so should the Enterprise C. But, I'm going to put them on the pile over there for possibilities. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to be too full on this lot now. Enterprise away. Enterprise on. On the box. See, this is my problem. I'm now getting stacked up with boxes. Bear with me a second rid of these. I mean, it's a nice... This is a nice problem to have this. I've got too many Eagle Moss ships. Yeah, get in. In. Thank you. So I'm classing the C and the B as potential. Farragut. No, Honshu. See, the problem with these is the saucer separates, leaving you with a hull. But you'd have to separate it and just completely get rid of this pot as well at the same time, which is not really worth doing. So for a source separation would be, pop, pop, off it went. But again, this is mainly die cast on the top, so not really worth doing to get any good effect from it. Next. Palacia. Sabre class, not a chance. That would have to, because these are integrated into the hull, a source separation would have to be a bloody miracle. So it's a nice ship. It was a little like, I think it was a kit bash one for, or at least a thrown together one for the first contact film. Very nice. Feels like that bottom panel is going to be loose and fall off. So we'll leave that alone. So, so far we're not doing too good on saucer separations. In she goes. All right. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. Possible, but we've got the B anyway, so why not keep with the B? Reliant. Still same again, it's things that just bolted onto the actual hull, which could have just sprung straight off. Voyager. Hmm. Should we have a look at Voyager? And see what we can see on this. There was never an option on this for source separation. If this came off, there is a join underneath here for the secondary hull. But, for the model itself, it's one piece from there all the way to the shuttle bay. So for doing a saucer separation, it's not worth it. 
possible for the um, Revell kit, but not for this. This is more, you need to have it cut kind of across here or maybe across here to release this out. It's nice that they've got the um, aero shuttle underneath as well. That's very nice. So, we have three candidates out of all of this that we can possibly do. As I said, we've already done the Enterprise D, which is nice. I know the cells are broken, they can be easily glued on. That's why this was cheap, because of this. So let me have a look, see what I can do with all of these. There's a good chance these won't actually work, and the Enterprise D is the only one we can sensibly source or separate. Apart from the original, the A and the refit, which they can easily be done, but it just looks it looks too tacky the way it is. It just unclicks and it doesn't seem to be any good. So let me go away and see what I can do with these. And, and if we can, we'll have a go. If we're not, it doesn't really matter because they're all nice models anyway. Now then, five minutes in and we have very good, well, we have success, shall we say. Let's start off with the Enterprise B. Now, granted the nacelle is already off, this is what, because I was either going to plan kit bashing all these to make maybe have different, it's different, it's kind of a hybrid between a, um, an Excelsior class and the Ambassador class. That was my idea, but then the Enterprise B, just pretend they've got two nacelles on here. Right, again, you need to do the same as with the Enterprise D. You need to grab all the saucer and you need to grab all the secondary hole and just whittle. You just need to break the super glue. These are either metal and plastic, and just held together with cheap super glue, which is a lot of these that would be broken in the post. That's the problem. So you wobble, 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 and eventually you'll come out like that. Two pins, two pegs. So there's your emergency source of separation from Enterprise B. Off it went. Simple as that. If this bit breaks off here, then this can be glued back in the neck. You can see on here there's no paint on there, but that is hidden inside the saucer. The Excelsior will be exactly the same as this, I guarantee it. And I'm not doing it due to the fact that I can't be bothered. But that'll come out really well because the pegs are still there and they land in rather well. So that can go back as a standard ship. As well as the nacelle being glued on. Right, Enterprise C. Now you'll know already see this anyway. This is kind of... It already fell to pieces before this. Both the nacelles are off. The back end is off. But now the top is exactly the same again. But you notice see the pegs have already broken, but you have to wiggle it. Wiggle, a little bit of force, maybe put a piece of plastic behind there, give it more force and out it comes. And then off she goes. I should actually glue everything back in place to show you this is a pretty good source of separation, but uh, these will not balance. Oh no, hold on. Hold on. Come on, come on, you're making it rough. Ah, oh, there we go, yes. So with these being broken on there anyway, I could possibly drill that out, put something on there, but that will just glue all back in place eventually and if I want to put it back together again. So, Enterprise C, source separation. Yeah. More of these, they can do this with than I actually thought. Enterprise D, this was the original one. Get out of plastic. Same again, whittle it, whittle it, whittle it, and eventually this will come off. But it's the way it's joined. It's This is the exact saucer than what it would be. There's metal pins in there instead of plastic pins going into metal holes. So it's, it's kind of easier to do it. But same again. Perfect emergency saucer set bar. There. So you've got your two piece ship. Like a battle bridge, well, barely. But we battle, you can still see it flying around. Well, that was the easiest one to do. Well, that, that wasn't. The actual Enterprise C was easiest because it fell to pieces. But the Enterprise D was the first one we've actually seen being done. 
Enterprise E. Right. This is a lot lighter model. It's a bigger ship than what the Enterprise D was supposed to be. But it was exactly the way that I told you. The plastic part comes up here and comes round where the captain's yacht is and a line across here. So again, whittle it as much as you possibly can. However, once you've got the back end out, this part here, you need to slide out. Because there she goes. It slides in. Come on. No, inside it and clicks in place. So there's different, it's another way of making it again. There is one peg which is there. There's no peg that goes into that one because there isn't anything there. And there you go. You've got an emergency saucer separated Enterprise E, which kind of looks very much like with the cutout here as the cutout there on the D. So there. There are more sources that you can separate than you think about, than you can know about. There must be more in the Eagle Moss set that you can do this with. I if we can swap and change. Ooh. Funky. No, I don't think that works right. Come back on there. It worked better than the cells were attached. Ooh, I've got an idea. Ooh, that's just wrong. <laughs> See, this is definitely a kid in the candy store now. I am just playing around. That just needs to loop back in place. Because it's just annoying now. Yeah, can we get that as a... Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> it's better than some of the ships that are on Picard. Oh, did I say that out loud? How dare I? <laughs> so, if you've got spares, basically, there's a lot of people who bought these when they first come out. There's a lot of people that have just fell out with them. If they're giving away the lots, just see what you can do. Play around with them. It's a shame that they didn't come off, but that will glue back in place well anyway. Actually, I've noticed something on here. Is this not from the Enterprise, the reefer Enterprise, is that not turned around by 90 degrees? Because these top, the longer ones meant to be facing forward and back? Hmm. Actually, there's a, they're not that way around, are they? There's, a, there's only a four-way, a left, right, up, forward and backwards, not two forward, two back, one left, one right. Okay. Hmm. But if you've got access to, if you've got chance on eBay to find something like this, just play around. Do what you want. Because your models are after all anyway. Ooh, that was a bit like the Probert one. Yeah. Well, maybe not. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. A C and an E. Nope, that just looks out of proportion. Very out of proportion. But uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, play about. Have a go. Email me. Message me. See what you've what you've done if you couldn't do this yourself. So yeah. More to do with Eagle Moss models than what you think. And with that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please follow me on social media. Oh that's not a saucer. Yeah. Consider being a patron if you've got some spares that you don't want and uh, hand them in. Give us a call. Give us a shout, give us a message, and I will um, gladly accept anything. We can play about with and see what we can do. Other than that, I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.